Hey guys, I built this awesome rack for my Ram. It's a, uh, I had some junk steel and I just made it out of that, but it came out really well. Uh, I designed it where I don't have to drill any holes. I've got a separate link for it that you can look at how I actually built it. But uh, after building it and uh, going out a couple of times, I decided I don't like paddling. So I decided I needed a trolling motor. So this is what we did. And you can buy stuff like this, but the reviews are horrible. So here's the finished product. It's sitting on the back of my canoe now. It's a little scratched up where I had the clamps on it just to test it out. But this is our first outing with it. I made it out of a piece of three and a half inch, uh, or rather three inch angle arm uh, that I picked up for $15 for about 52 inches. And then uh, that was what my brother-in-law was welding for me with the aluminum welder was that uh, just made a tube on the end to stick over where that uh, motor would mount. And it is strong as an ox. And uh, we got out there and gave it a try and I can't wait to show you this. There's a girl waiting to go out now. I'm using a Minn Kota 30 pound thrust trolling motor for this thing. It works just perfect. I mean, it's the perfect size. And we ran, uh, oh, about three hours on a uh, Group 27 battery, which is just about perfect and only drained it about 25%. And there it is mounted on the back of my canoe, all ready to go. But what would be a good video without a demonstration so here we go on a little trial run okay so this is my uh, right, new hookup there. here with my trolling motor on my canoe Woo! works really well as you can see I've got an aluminum bracket strong as hell can't buy it like that now I'm gonna get oh I just saw a fish okay now Watch how fast we go. All right, I'll be there in a minute. Look at this thing move. This is a 30 pound thrust canoe. Look at it moving. Can you believe that? So here it is in action. Just a little short video of us weaving our way through the swamps. Uh, it worked out really well. You know, sometimes just building things on your own work better than uh, going out and buying stuff and my total cost on this thing was 15 bucks plus a little labor which is free and a few uh, stainless steel bolts and nuts from Lowe's and that was about it so uh, anyway hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching adios